So once we have launched the HTTPS website, it's a static website but a secure website and it has got its uh, numerous benefits of having a HTTPS website. The last objective from the RSC examination perspective or a, a point of view is that you, sh you, you should be able to launch some dynamic content using the TLS website. Say we have got a Python application, web application and I want to launch that Python application using my Apache web server. So this is again one of the exam objectives. Again the Python application, the server certificate, the server key will be given to you by the examiner. So you need to know where to download it and how to integrate it. So in my case, I will be launching an application named Web App Zero. So because you will be launching a Python WSGI script, so I need to install one more package. Yum install. We had already have the HTTP package. We already have mod underscore SSL package. The only package which is required is okay, these two are already here. So we just need mod underscore WSGI. Sorry. So just install this module. Now once the module is there, again I need to create the default document root. So I'll be going under my SRV. I'll be using the same. So I create a folder here. So you'll be asked to in the exam to use specific folders. So please make sure you use the same locations. Don't change this. So again here, I have got this particular folder. So I need to copy my WSGI script here, whatever script I, I have got in this particular folder. This particular folder need to have that script. So in the exam, you will be given some path to download it. So here, the, the script is already there inside the home directory of a specific user, student. If I show you this, this, this is it. I need to copy this file this script, this python wsj script in my document root. That means this file I want it here. Web app, this, this location. So I copy the home student web app to the current directory. This file need to be here in the document root. So again, because of SE Linux, I can never forget to do a restore con. That's great. So if I do a ll hyphen z, the context is changed. That's great. Now again, I need to download the certificate. So CA certificate is already with me as we had done it in the previous section at cpki tls cert because my CA is same. So I need not to download the certificate again. But in the exam, if you are being told to do it on a different machine, so obviously you need to download it. But yes, what you need to download is the web application certificate. So in the search folder itself, you just need to download this wget. So this path will be, again I'm repeating, this path will be given to you in the exam. Don't worry about this. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, you need to know how to download it using the wget. Done and the private key again will be going under the private folder. Here I need to download the private key. If you see there, I'm doing more or less the same stuff, but which I had done in the normal HTTPS website, static HTTPS website. Certain changes will be there in the conf file, which I will be coming right in front of you. So I just need to go to private and web app zero dot key. That's great. So the certificates are right there in the place. Again, make it 600 as we had done it for the uh, web.key. Now I should be creating a file. So I will be going under at c httpd conf.d folder. Sorry. So here I will highly recommend need not to write the same stuff again. So I copy because most of the lines will be same. So I say web 
app zero dot com. So copy the file. So a lot of things will automatically be there. Now open this file and change certain things like server name. The server name will be your application name. So in my case, the server name will be web app zero dot example dot com. This will be same. This line will be same. SSL cipher suite will be same. Owner will be same. The key file will be different. Obviously, this is my certificate has got a different name. It is web app zero dot crt and the folder name is same. So I need not to change it. Private key again. I need to change the name. So you play smart here and just change only the uh names because i had copied the file so this ca certificate will remain the same one line that you need to change here is that i need a new line as it is a dynamic contents so i don't need these two lines so i'm intentionally commenting it so that i don't need these two lines you just need to write a script alias here wsgi sorry Sorry, script alias. Put a slash here. Then once after the slash, give the path of the file. SRV web app zero dub 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 and the name web app dot wsgi. So this path will become the slash or the root for this particular server. And again, I need to specify or assign the permissions. Web app zero, double double. Rest will be same. That's all. So that's all you need to do to launch or to have a dynamic content. So this you need not to worry about this application or the Python application. It's not your cup of tea. It will be given to you by any like your developer team. You just need to know how to launch it. So make sure you are not doing any typo errors here. Save and come out and again do a restart. System CTL restart HTTPD. It is done and yes the HTTP my firewall is already updated so i'll just confirm it because my http site is already being my service is already there that's great so how i'll just check it so if i go to the desktop the different machine i can check it either i can use the firefox in the same manner so i give a https slash slash web app sorry zero dot example dot com obviously you need to accept the ca certificate first add exception get certificate confirm security this is the script which is giving you the output that makes sense so this is how you have just completed the last and the final section of your apache topic this is an exam objective to launch a dynamic contents using a https website hosted on apache this is for the day.